What's good everyone? It's your boy Santo G. Back at it. You already know. Spreading unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all, if you're new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell. That way you're notified when I drop future content. So today, I wanted to talk about this travesty, man, that happened not so far from here. Literally, like, not even 10 minutes away. This lady... Still don't know why she smokes her dude, she kills her dude, takes off while she's driving at God knows how fast she kicks out her nine year old and her newborn out the car, opens the door, and shoves them out the car. The baby dies instantaneously. Gets ran over. Nine-year-old tumbles. Thank God she survived. And then the mom goes, boom. Kills herself. Why? Why on earth would you do that to your kids? Baby. Nine-year-old. Nine it boggles me, man. I'm going to show you guys the clips. And then we're going to get to the bottom. Kill her boyfriend in Woodland Hills before pushing her baby and her nine-year-old daughter into traffic on the 405 freeway. More on the investigation here. Darsha? Yeah, Colleen, Danielle Johnson had a very large presence on social media. She had over 100,000 followers, and she posted about her fears about the eclipse and the apocalypse. But neighbors here at the Montecito Apartments where she lives says... Here, she was very much keeping to herself. She barely said hi to anyone. NBC4's iTeam has confirmed that Danielle Johnson was also known as Danielle Aoka online. Under this alias, Johnson made several disturbing posts. Some were anti-Semitic solar eclipse, calling it the epitome of spiritual warfare. Hours before the solar eclipse on Monday, police say Johnson went on a rampage, killing her partner and throwing her children into traffic on the 405 and then crashing her car into a tree on PCH. She was in the arms of Johnson's nine-year-old daughter when police say Johnson pushed them out of her moving car on the 405. The nine-year-old managed to get to the side of the freeway. The baby was hit by a car and killed. She's insane. <laughs> yeah, that she had mental problems. To do what she did the way that she did it, yeah, it was, it's just awful. Anita and other neighbors now pouring over Johnson's social media posts. I don't know if you've gone to her Twitter or X page, but we, we didn't realize how mentally unstable she was. A lot of anti-Semitic remarks. And the family kept to themselves. She was just very standoffish. When we walk our dog, she just didn't, wouldn't say hi. But never imagined she was capable of what police say she did. So many in the building, Norman says, haunted by what happened on Monday. Friends of ours heard pleading, blood-curdling screams, pleading for his life. Online, Johnson described herself as a recording artist and an astrologer and sold healing sessions and products. Johnson was killed when her car crashed into a tree in Redondo Beach. Police say she was going over 100 miles per hour. If only, if only people in this situation would simply either get help or if they would just not take others out with them. The sole survivor in this, the nine-year-old girl, is now with Child Protective Services. You guys can see there, man. Man. I can't fathom it, you know? The max right there, I cannot fathom it. More stuff is still coming out, so I'll keep you guys updated, man. But this right here is just a travesty, man, and it breaks my heart, like, honestly. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to keep y'all updated. More information comes out. I just wanted to bring this to your attention, man. Like, I said this breaks my heart. I'm lost for words, man. Like, I don't know what to say, man. Let me know in the comments. Let's get it.